Welcome to the Wednesday Wire. It's Wednesday. We're still in a pandemic. Let's dive in. Ooh, Joe Biden will not travel to the Democratic National Convention in Milwaukee due to coronavirus concerns. Instead, he will accept the nomination on August 17th, virtually at 4 p.m. Eastern, just before bedtime. He's so old. The governor of Mississippi mandated masks for all public gatherings. This obviously will pose a problem for choir members um, and those groups meeting up to learn lip reading. Not so hard for the KKK. Mississippi folks. Oh, this week, Kristen Cavallari reunited with her Laguna Hills co-star Stephen Coletti. And in other news that I just do not care about, Jojo Siwa, apparently this is an actual human being that makes a lot more money than me, shared the identity of her boyfriend. And Selena Gomez finally has her very own cooking show. Fun fact for all the kiddos that are watching, quit school and be famous. Then you can do whatever you want and people will care about all the mundane things that you do and, and other people will just give you opportunities that have nothing to do with your skill set and that you don't deserve. So fun, I'm not bitter at all, not bitter at all. Instagram is giving TikTok some competition with their new in-app feature called Reels. Just like TikTok, Reels allows users to record 15 second videos, add audio and music. Unlike TikTok, Reels doesn't give users the satisfaction of pissing off President Trump each time you open up that app. So keep on watching shin kicks and dancing ferrets on TikTok. Well, folks, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but we have a very special interview with Vladimir Putin's babushka. That's right, Vladimir Putin's grandmother, Babushka Barb, is on the Wednesday Wire coming in from Russia. Babushka Barb, thank you so much for being on the wire. So nice. Just kidding. What? Just kidding. Russians don't say thoughts and prayers, and we don't give a shit about Beirut. Well, coming in hot. So, as Vladimir Putin's babushka, what's your take that your grandson offered Taliban troops bounties for killing U.S. soldiers? Not much. I mean, who cares? Who? People die all the time. What? In Russia, ten thousand people a year are eaten by Siberian tigers. Okay, that's not six thousand are murdered by icicles. So I don't know what to tell you. And what about all of those reporters who disagree with the Kremlin and die falling out of windows? It's a well known fact that windows are very dangerous, Carol. Especially when you well, a lot of Americans like myself think that Vladimir Putin is a master manipulator, a murderer, an evil dictator. What can you share about him that would make us feel otherwise? Because oh he's kind God. of an asshole. He is so smart. Is he? When he was seven, he built bomb and put bomb underneath neighbor's car because our neighbor called me fat. That seems. He's so sweet. That seems and aggressive. An incredible. Interesting turn of events there, Babushka Barb. Um, I have a note here that you wanted to plug your yes. podcast. Subscribe to my new podcast. It is called Lukewarm Cabbage Soup for the Cold-Hearted Russian Soul. 
it's okay. Well, way to plug that hard, Barb. Thanks for being on the wire and making things weird. And let's all admit it, we're pretty sure Russia's behind the whole COVID-19 thing. Anyway, garbage and gold, ladies and gents. We're wrapping up like we do every week. We got to get to the trash before we get to the gold. Well, if you're an American Ninja Warrior fan, this is going to hurt because Drew Dreschel, one of the champions himself, has officially been charged with child sex crimes. So not only is this douchebag so bad at team sports, he had to set his sights on American Ninja Warrior, but he's a fucking pedo. How about the same guy that didn't kill Jeffrey Epstein show up to Drew Dreschel's house? Uh, gold for the week, ladies and gents. 2020 is finally getting a tad bit better. Lifetime has announced it will feature its first holiday movie with an LGBTQ romance as the lead story. Finally, 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 amazing news for this shitty year. The movie itself is called The Christmas Setup and you can catch it this coming holiday season on Lifetime. And I'm sure there's some conservatives that are watching this that are really creeped out, but I guarantee it there's gonna be at least one basic blonde bitch that looks a lot like me with some kind of dumb storyline. So something for everybody. Thanks everybody for tuning in this week to the Wednesday Wire. I'm Carrie Gallagher. You can follow me at KG Comedy. Make sure you subscribe to Broken Drift Productions. Keep it real and stay safe.